Zule Zhang versus Devin Vargas. If you guys didn't know, they'll be fighting pretty damn soon later tonight over in Florida in the undercard of Devin Haney versus Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. Fight will be shown live on the zone, so tune into the zone if you want to see this fight. Both fighters had their weigh ins, and it's a heavyweight fight, so both fighters weighing 200 plus pounds with Zhang weighing in at 259.6 pounds and Vargas weighing in at 233 pounds. Zhang, if you don't know who he is, from China, 21 and 0, 16 wins come by way of Nakar Tikio. He definitely lost a lot of weight compared to his last fight back in November of last year. When he fought Andre Rudenko over in Monte Carlo, he weighed at 278, 278, which is his heaviest if you look at his resume. 278, and I remember that fight. He looked slow, he kind of looked sluggish, went the distance against Rudenko. But for this fight, for this fight, it seems like it's in definitely much better shape. Looks like he's definitely ready for more knockouts, hopefully. So uh, it's good that he's more motivated for this fight. I feel like he is more motivated for this fight compared to his last fight against Rudenko. Comparison to Devin Vargas. He weighed around 223 in his last fight, so he gained some weight. When he fought Junior Fa, he was around 218. So he's definitely uh, gained some COVID, COVID weight, then that coronavirus, you know, with the pandemic going on, people staying at home. Uh, I think Devin Vargas definitely uh, gained some weight during this pandemic. So anyway, 259.6 for Zhang, 233 for Vargas. So I made a prediction video. And I thought I'd just share some comments. Um, Arod1391 said, Zhang is going to knock Devin out. Zhang's skill is highly underrated. We're going to be seeing a lot more of Zhang very soon. Um, yeah, Zhang's definitely underrated. Definitely underrated. Very underrated fighter. Um, and I do think he's going to knock out Devin, Devin Vargas as well. I think it should be an easy win for Zhang, actually. I will be shocked and very surprised if Zhang somehow goes the distance in this fight. That would be somewhat disappointing, to be honest, if he goes a distance. But you never know when it comes to the sport of boxing. Um, James Thornton said Zhang is quite old. Took him a long time to get to the world stage, so I don't really expect too much of him. Um, yeah, Zhang is already 37 years old. He's 37 years old. But when it comes to the heavyweight division, usually people still perform pretty well up to their 40s. You know? So, in my opinion, Zhang doesn't have a lot of wear and tear in his body, considering that he only turned pro in 2014. So, he's only been a pro for about six years. So, he, his body isn't worn out compared to a lot of fighters who has been fighting for a long time once they get to this age. But in Zhang's age, in Zhang's case, he's only been a pro for about six years. So... In my opinion, I think he still has a lot of years in left in him. For Yolis, LOL said, future rival for Joshua. Definitely can see it happening. I can definitely see Zhang being a rival of uh, Anthony Joshua, considering that Zhang is under Matchroom. And, uh, you know, Matchroom, uh, Joshua is under Matchroom as well. So definitely can see these two fighting in the future if Zhang can keep winning fights. Just imagine, they could put this fight in China, and how many views would I get? Well, anywhere around the world, actually, would be fine. And right now, Zhang currently lives in New Jersey, so, you know, it, it can it can happen anywhere. So anyway, should be a good one. Again, I think Zhang should win this fight by knockout, but I've been wrong before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.